All right, well, today was fucking me versus me. The quit in my mind was just screaming loud this time because I'm not gonna lie, I let that comfortability drag on for just a little too long, and it doesn't take long at all. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm fucking driving, and I, you know, I got so much shit to do. Just bear with me, the message is strong, so it's worth it. But if you let that comfortability and that weakness sit too long without attacking it in that moment, that momentum will flip on a dime, whether it's positive or whether it's negative. And you always want to be in the zone. You always want to be focused. You always want to be in the thick of it, focused on your grind, focused on your purpose, because there is no fucking turning it off. You can't, you know, turn it off and come back on and turn it on and then come back off. It doesn't fucking work like that. It's either you're all in or you're fucking, you know, you're just dragging your ass. Like you're never going to amount to anything if you're fucking halfway on and halfway off. Like it's either, it's a full commitment because this shit gets hard. It's not fucking easy and any distraction can flip that momentum on a dime and drag you back to where you were Like that's why personally for me. I don't even fucking talk to girls I actually try to avoid girls because I feel like they always Bring me back to that old comfortable relaxed version of me. That's not hungry. That's really doesn't want to do shit with his life Like every time I talk to a girl, there's like a play mode inside of my mind that flips on and it's like Subconsciously, I just want to, I'm more relaxed. I'm not as hungry. I'm not as driven. I don't have that ferociousness to me to like attack life and, you know, be starving for success. It's not there. It's like I'm relaxed, I'm complacent, and I'm content. It's like I got this chick, I fuck her every week, and like life's dandy. It's fine. I don't got to go to the gym because I got this chick. And like it does something to men because we are like sexual creatures. Like I'm not going to lie, we are heavily sexually driven. Just look online, you'll see all these fucking weird sims commenting on weird fucking fucking weird shit um and that's just the nature of it so as a man you have to like be you just have to keep your focus and don't let it divert that's why i'm on nofap i don't watch porn um because like all the time like that's just a distraction and it just like brings your mind to a different place and like there's a whole bunch of reasons like if you're talking to girls you can't even hold the conversation you're just thinking about sex your mind will wander you'll treat it like an object you'll just you know have unrealistic expectations when you're having intercourse like it's just all it fucks your brain up the whole thing just fucks your brain up and i don't even know why the fuck it's free it's just weird but anyways yeah like you have to be solely focused on your journey like there's been so many times in the gym where i'm fucking hitting prs and i got that aggressive focus and i'm keeping my head down and i don't want fucking nobody to talk to me because it can steal like a slice of your energy and it can take like you're focused right you're feeling yourself you're feeling good the music's pumping like everything's going amazing and you have the momentum's on your side and you're just fucking going and someone will say something and then i'll just shift your focus and you can't really get your mind back in that place and that can kill the rest of your workout and it happens all the time and that's just like life like that happened today uh fucking i was about to hit a pr and some chick uh, this happens every fucking time i'm about to do something like a pr or whatever i swear to god it's the devil trying to fuck me up like it happens every time i'm about to break some limit every single fucking time maybe i'm just manifesting it or talking out loud and it's happening i have no idea but every time i'm about to hit a pr some chick will come up to me and say some shit that has I don't give a fuck about, I'm just like, get the fuck out of my face, like, I get it, you're cute, you're hot, and you you think I'm gonna respond and, like, be all nice and, like, oh, yeah, let's have a conversation, but that's just not me, like, I'm focused, I got a purpose, I'm gonna die one day, get the fuck out of my way, I'm here to work out, I'm here to break my limits, so when I get out of the gym, I can also break my limits and achieve my fucking goals, like, I'm on this earth for a completely different reason than just getting some fucking pussy, like, fuck pussy, I had it multiple times, it's nothing fucking special, it's just a temptation that just knocks you off, pa uh, knocks you off your purpose. And I don't know if I'm like some biblical fucking, you know, whatever the fuck, but I do believe in God. Man. Yeah, just anything can steal your focus, whether it be drinking, whether it be girls, whether it be anything, any fucking temptation the system has to offer or the devil has to offer. But yeah, she asked if I, she looked at me, I was about to do a PR, I'm pretty sure I was like 245 on squat. I was going to do a couple of reps. And then she, you know, I was listening to my music. I was about to go down, like pick the weight up. And she looked at me and she's like, hey, do you need this little foam pad? And I'm like, holy fuck. Like, because you have to get your mind in a certain zone to like actually be, you know, able to lift that weight or just feel confident in lifting that weight. So I'll kind of like zone out and like listen to the music and vibe out to get into that headspace so I can do the fucking reps. And as soon as I was like clicked and focused, it happened so many times to me. This chick comes up. Hey, do you need this foam pad? No, get the fuck out of my face. Like, it's so annoying. Um, and that's why, like, if you got to be all in or you're going to be fucking, you know, you're going to you're going to be faking yourself. 
Um, and that's, you're gonna be cheating yourself and that's not something you wanna do. It's all in or it's fucking, you're gonna fail. Like that's all it is because this shit gets hard and it gets harder each and every single time because you constantly have to keep showing up but not only showing up, breaking your fucking limits and it gets difficult, it gets challenging um, but that's a part of life. Um, if you wanna be great, you gotta do what others are not willing to do and it's not fucking easy, it doesn't get easier, it actually gets more difficult. And if your mind's not fully in, you're gonna fucking quit because there's a billion reasons to fucking quit and there's only one reason to stay in it. And whatever your one reason may be, it better be fucking strong. Whatever your why is, it better be strong. It's gotta be like a do or die mentality, like this is what the fuck I want and that's it because the road will get very tough and you're gonna have, you're gonna need something to pull you through that. And that's why having a vision or being a visionary or whatever the fuck you wanna call it, having goals in the future is so beneficial because it can pull you through all the adversity when you're thinking in the future. If you're focused on the pain and the now and just how bad it sucks and you're focused on the negative parts about it, that you're gonna drain yourself and you're gonna give up. You gotta be living in the future. You gotta be thinking about where you wanna be and where you're gonna end up or it's all just gonna fucking crumble. Like it's hard enough. Um, and yeah, don't be discouraged if you fail because I'm 23 and man, I was doing YouTube when I was a kid and I fucking failed. Like, I, it was my life. Like, it was actually a part of my soul and I wanted to do it so bad, but I failed. And you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. It just wasn't for me. And don't be discouraged if you fail at something because that's just God. Like, okay, this is something you could use in the future. Like, I failed back then and now I realize like what I need to succeed. Just don't fucking give up. The only reason I failed as a kid is because I listened to others and I listened to the third parties that really had nothing to offer besides what the system was feeding down their throats and I fucking gave up and I choked and that's it. It was all my fault and there's just a lot of lessons that you can, you know, use to your advantage in the future. Um, we all got a purpose. We all got something we need to do and yours doesn't have to be like some fucking superhero like you're earning billions of dollars on your Jeff Bezos shit. It could just be like being a good mom or a good dad or just like breaking the cycle. Like if you never had a dad and you're just an amazing dad to, you know, your new kids, then that's fucking amazing. Like it's just, it could be something simple that has a compound effect on your whole family tree and it just, you know, pushes it in a positive direction. But uh, yeah, I just feel like, man, if I give up, like I'm just fucking failing everybody. I'm failing myself. Um, I'm failing my mom, I'm failing my family. Like, I'm just, you know what I mean? That momentum's dead. And there's, you know, greatness doesn't have a chance to live in our family or just live in me. And, you know, nobody can benefit or feed off of my sacrifices that I put in. Because if I sacrifice and I keep my head down, you know, that energy walks around with me and actions speak louder than words. Um, so if I'm moving forward and actually doing all this shit, then, you know, it benefits everybody around me because it's going to motivate and influence them. But if I give up, I'm just a sack of shit, and now we're just all a sack of shit, and, you know, nothing's being broken. Because I, I honestly feel like I'm different. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, compared to everyone I know, I'm different, and I know it, and I just can't give up. Easier said than done. You gotta walk through hell sometimes, and you gotta fight sometimes, but every single time, it is fucking worth it. Keep going, keep pushing. I promise you, at the end of the day, you know, you'll make yourself proud. And I share this message all the fucking time, but I'm still a victim to it. Like, some days I really just want to, like, turn back around, but you just can't. It's, it's literally you rise or you fucking die. Like, that's, it's simple. You rise or your spirit will fucking die. And to a lot of people that may sound dramatic, because they never rose. Like, the more you rise, it hurts when you go back down. You know, if you're fucking at base level... You wouldn't know what the fuck I'm talking about because you're already there. You haven't moved. You haven't progressed. But when you put so much hard work and dedication to move up and continuously progress and the level, levels are getting harder and harder and you fall down and you stumble, like that can fucking sting and it can hurt so fucking bad. But you can turn it into a lesson instead of an L and you can advance or you can fall. Do not fall when you're progressing in life because there's no person more miserable than a highly ambitious person with no fucking action you gotta be ambitious with that action and you gotta execute but holy fuck this was an amazing video this deserves a fucking bazillion views like what the fuck that is some golden advice it was probably from god or something i don't know but i was just speaking from the heart i went to war today and i fucking crushed my legs because that weakness and that Whatever comfortability was growing in my mind, and I just knew, yeah, it's time to walk through hell, it's time to walk through the fire, it's time to kill it before it kills me. And that's what I did. 
And now I'm proud, now I'm happy. I'm not going to bed disappointed, I'm not going to bed feeling like a failure. I'm going to bed feeling achieved, and that's momentum for tomorrow. That's something I can eat off tomorrow. That's some energy for tomorrow that can push me even further. But uh, yeah, I love you guys. Peace out. Keep pushing, keep grinding. No matter what lays ahead, what adversity, you gotta overcome it or you're gonna live in it. If you don't overcome that adversity, you're gonna be living that, you're gonna be living in that adversity for the rest of your life. There's a lot of people in this planet, on this planet, who are living in the adversity that they fail to overcome. And now that's just their life. Times are hard. This is hard. My life sucks. They're living in that adversity. I could have been there so many times and so many levels and so many stages, but I overcame it and I kept going. And that's why you don't see me living in any adversity. You see me living in fucking bliss and joy because I keep overcoming it. And that's what you have to do. You're going to be living in that adversity for the rest of your fucking life. Easier said than done. But there's two hards, like I always say. You know? It's hard to fucking give up and feel like a loser filled with regret. And it's hard to keep pushing and feel satisfied after you kept pushing forward. There's two types of hard, but you get to choose one. One's more gratifying and satisfying. And one leads to just a better path and a better future. And it you know, actually benefits everyone around you. But I love you guys. Um, yeah, keep your head strong. Keep your head down. Just grind. You know? Make sure you're around people who bring you value and lift you up. You don't want to be in an environment that's fucking constantly draining you. You know what I mean? And that's the last thing you want. And if you are in an environment like that, that just means, you know, God has more plans for you. Like, if you're in an environment that's constantly draining you, that means you're going to be transcending to a new place because you don't belong there. You really don't. And if you keep pushing, God's going to bring you to a place that's better than that because you're different from the crowd. Like, if you don't fit in, people are constantly, like, badgering at you and trying to fuck with you you got like a bigger vision or somewhere you want to go just follow that and it's going to bring you out of your environment i promise you that you just got to keep pushing and keep grinding like you're different you're everybody's special but you got something special if you know you got a vision and like yeah anyways i don't want to be too preacher and keep going because i got some more work to do but you understand what i'm saying anyways keep going keep pushing let's go